Cardano's staking price prediction and potential 600% breakout in 2019. Welcome back guys, it's Crypto Rocco from Rockstar Trading Channel and in today's video guys we'll be talking about Cardano staking and how potentially staking can have an effect on price. So to start off the video I'll talk about the fundamentals of Cardano, Cardano staking, how it works, how you can participate guys and then guys I'll be talking about how it might affect the price and do what I do best, I'll give you my technical analysis on Cardano. So guys without further ado let's get into the video. So the first thing guys uh, incentive and staking in, in Cardano. Uh, the the main reason for the the reason why they're doing it is to encourage people to participate into the in the protocol, follow it faithfully, and behave in a way that is in the best interest of other users and the system. And I quite like it, guys. Rather than you know buying, selling, people that are invested, they actually care about the project more than you know the technical analysis. And and it probably sounds a bit hypocrite of me to say that because I'm predominantly a trader, but I am interested in cryptocurrency and block and I want to create uh, content for both traders and investors and I've done that previously with Chainlink. I talked about Chainlink fundamentals about seven, eight months ago. Then I've done a lot of price prediction and technical analysis uh, later. So I'm going to do a bit of both guys. So if you're interested guys, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification button. I believe my content is quite different to most people on Twitter, YouTube, Reddit, social media. So guys, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification button so you do not miss any of my videos. So guys, so in case of Bitcoin, this means, you know, mining blocks and including as, ma as many valid transactions in those blocks as possible. For Cardano, it means being online and creating a block when that user has been elected slot leader and to participate in the election process of choosing a slot leader to create the block. I don't think if you stay here using someone else, you're going to get a chance to, to participate in the election process. But there's other, if you're not a technical expert, I'm going to talk about if you're not a technical expert, you can still get involved uh, in, in, in Cardano staking. Participating in the Cardano protocol incur far, far less computational cost than participating in Bitcoin. Nevertheless, having slot leaders online when it is their turn to create a block to participate in the election process is important for the both security and efficiency of the protocol. So obviously there's going to be incentive for you to do that. We mean monetary incentive in the form of Cardano. You can expect that. So in Cardano, we strive for per perfect alignment of incentive. Uh, we want to incentivize current stakeholders to be online when they have to participate in the protocol, for example, to create block. People who lack interest in technical knowledge or time to be online when needed can still participating by delegating their stake to stake pool. So again, I'm not going to go into too much detail. I highly recommend you read uh, this uh, read this uh, link, guys. I'm going to leave the link below. Uh, I'm going to give you an overview of what, what staking is and then I'll talk about kind of how you can participate in, in a quick way. So what is staking is an alternative way of deciding who gets to make the next block in the chain and the more stake you have in the network, the more likely you are to be selected to create the next block and you create the block you get rewards if you're selected to create the next block then you're known as a slot leader and will receive a monetary reward there's no minimum ADA amount to qualify for staking uh, from a from a price point of view staking will take ADA away from the exchanges so there's going to be less supply and when there's less supply and more demand you can expect the price to go up so staking is an alternative way for deciding who gets to make the next block in the chain. The more you stake, the more you have in the network, the more likely you are going to be selected to create the next block. And when you create the block, you get rewards. Stake pools are run by users on the network with promise of being online all the time to maximize the chances of stake pool member. Just a warning guys, please do your research to select staking pools. There's going to be no doubt lots of scams out there. So you have to be very careful uh, that you do it in the right way. You can acquire stake by buying ADA, but when you delegate your stake, your ADA stays where it is in your wallet. Please do not send your ADA somewhere. You have to uh, be very, very careful because there's there's a lot of bad people out there that will try to take advantage of you because the system is designed so that the diminishing return as stake pool approaches a certain percentage of the total network stake. This promotes decentralization and the competitive stake for pool market. This is something I really like guys. 
Um, I think it's uh, so how will Cardano achieve decentralization the staking rewards reduces so as uh, stakes pools will offer lower rewards as they get larger this will encourage users to move between pools on a regular basis so this is a really good point that I like Cardano staking pools will not lead to centralized gov governance stake pools don't vote only Genesis key holders will be able to vote initially Cardano staking FAQ explains this explained in more detail in this forum post in theory this means community should have fairly large say in the direction of cardano development is taken finally finally cardano will prevent centralization by asking exchanges to use enterprise addresses special addresses that don't permit staking in theory exchanges could choose not to use those these addresses believes that if exchange don't comply users won't find out and move to more cooperative exchanges we may also be able to force the issue through other means so this is quite key something that i really liked i'll leave this link below as well this is this goes into a bit more detail of how staking works and how you can get involved but this is one point that i really like from an outsider um, i quite like it another thing that's in interesting about cardano is and like uh, ethereum cardano won't offer solo staking individuals must either run their own pool or join an existing pool this will ensure that cardano's validator network stays large if people get rewards without operating a pool or delegating to one then there might not be enough node operators to have a successful network so these are some interesting points i found out about cardano staking and and the difference between you know stakeholders and slot leaders with cardano staking and node is select to generate a new block based on the relative economic stake in the network in other words nodes are selected to form a new block premised premised on the probability proportional to the amounts of coins that the node possesses thus the more coins that a node holds the increased likelihood that the node will be selected to generate a block effectively only stakeholder nodes are capable of running the cardano protocol as only these nodes are capable of being chosen to become a slot leader and generate new blocks for blockchain. In generating new blocks, a slot leader will listen to transactions that are propagated by nodes on the network and they form a block from those transactions. A slot leader will then sign this block with its private key and publish it to the network. So you can see this is really interesting guys and then you can learn more about the reward scheme and and how it works i'd recommend you read the faq as well we can explain to you all the questions that you may have if you have more questions you can comment below i might go into the calculations and and give you a bit more detail i have done a bit more research on it um so yeah i'm, I'm quite excited about it a few people have messaged me saying you're making codano videos please talk about staking so from again i'm not a coder i'm not an expert on blockchain um i know brief uh, uh, brief interest and a key enthusiast of blockchain and uh, I do like to keep aware, keep up with the fundamental news as well. But my thoughts from an economic and financial point of view is when supply is very simple, guys, when supply increase is decreases and demand stays the same or demand increases, the price will go up. That's a simple demand and supply. So if less people are selling Cardano, the, the less Cardano that's available. And if there's hype and news around it and people buy it, the Cardano price, you'd expect it to go up. Again, um, you could just, if you're... Uh, I made a video. I'm going to make another video. I made a video in the educational group talking about investing versus uh, hodling. So if you're investing, guys, and and you think long term Cardano is going to be a great, that's fine for me, guys. I like to. I'm, I'm a trader. I like to see a higher low, higher high, a trend change. You know, getting above the uh, moving average. We traded that breakout again. I traded it live on YouTube, guys. I talked about when I bought here. I was really excited. It was breaking above the red moving average. I was waiting for a higher low and a higher high fortunately we didn't get that i tried to buy here that was a loss because it broke down i was hoping that we'll get at least one bounce now guys it's going down and i took another trade here so i'll, I'll, I'll give you an example again this is not bragging i'm trying to show you uh, how i trade i took a trade in cardano sort of here guys and i took another trade there um, i can't remember exactly i think it was here guys this was another trade i took for for a nice few percentage guys um and i posted it live even before it happened as you can see uh cardano again this is not a signals group this is more of an educational group but from time to time i will release content that what i'm trading so you can understand but it's more about an educational content i want you to learn how to trade as a group 
so if you're interested you can join that as well so let's look at the the technical analysis so t from from a simple high time frame if you're an investor you might be interested in this it's on a downtrend guys it's going down it's going down i like to see an uptrend so what i'd like to see is from from e longer term point of view i want the weekly chart to have an uptrend so by uptrend i mean a higher high higher low and a higher high getting above that 20 moving average that is what i want to see couple of levels on the daily i want to get above it's probably the 536 level and also another key level would be the 900 zone so any bounce probably could get to here with news i know people are calling altcoin season i'm not getting as excited as yet like people usually do this could potentially 100 percent move that could be coming up and if it does happen guys then we could even if it breaks above this then we can have this crazy gains in um, we've had some crazy moves already icx i completely missed this trade this has been a crazy mover guys and you can see where it stopped right at the green zone and i made a video yesterday told people not to buy same with matic guys i'm, I'm trading matic I, um, it's been a really good trade but unfortunately guys it's pulling back and that's the importance i mean if you watch my videos guys you'll see um uh, let me show you this um if you go to the more recent ones guys i traded matic guys and i took profit guys it's so important to take profits because we don't know how far it will go up and it's important to take profits so thank you very much for watching this video guys i'd like to end this video by saying what is your thoughts on cardano do you think this staking is going to have a massive impact on cardano price in the long term or in the short term comment below guys thoughts about fundamentally as well you can enlighten me if you know more about for, for cardano fundamentals comment below guys and let's have a discussion around it so comment below your thoughts on cardano price prediction and fundamentals also guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel to, and turn on the notification button put a lot of effort into this content so i'd really appreciate if you can turn on the notification button it really helps me out so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video go cardano